right, welcome back. Episode 31? Yeah, 31. Dude, new year, new sponsor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a new sponsor. Hell yeah, I'm uh, feeling kind of thirsty. Yeah, me too. We should uh, murder that thirst. Oh, shit, all right. Oh. All right, so cool. We got, we're ready to roll. Yep, hydrated, um, feeling good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're gonna give a, a couple shout outs first to start off this episode, right? Yeah, so 2022, we just got back from the Dew Tour. Yep. So we did. We have a new vlog that's up on on the website on YouTube. So check that out. Yeah, Edward's uh, snowboarding some uh, yeah. black diamonds, getting it. Yeah, it kind of highlights that whole trip, which is cool. So yeah, yeah go check it out. We have um, we got a bunch of merch from that trip. Yeah, these posters did pretty good. We were uh, we had a booth. We were sl- you know slanging some merch, and then any any time we would sell something, they would get a free a free poster. So uh, y- th- those things went fast. We had a we had to hide one for uh, so we could keep one ourselves. Yeah. Um, and then a- just being there in town was pretty cool. I mean, they, these guys blew it out. You know, if you're at some local restaurants, they had some uh, some pop there. Uh, they had some magazines, Men's Health with some uh, pretty cool pretty cool ads in it. They went in. They they, did. they definitely blew it out. They <clears throat> spent their ad dollars right. They they kind of owned the city uh, for that that week. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. You know, I've talked about this before. It's always cool to do, you know, say the graphics for an ev- event or whatever, but you don't have total control of how that's used. Yep. You know, totally. So to go to an event and actually see them blow it out and yeah, even like this piece here. I mean, they they took the uh, the photo and used our pattern like yep. super proper. I, yeah. I'm impressed. Didn't. This shit's up to par. It's yeah. good stuff. Yeah, that's rad. Uh, yep. Shout out to Red Gerard. Uh, did he win this time again? He did. Yep, Dude. slope style. Dude's yep. got style. Yeah. Uh, his house. Yep. With the little pulley system. His oh, own yeah. little shit in the backyard. Yeah. yeah, if you guys don't know who about Red Gerard, check him out. Yeah, and uh, I just learned that their whole families are just killing it. Uh, his, his sister is like a number one selling book for the new york times or oh no shit. i think the whole family's just crushing it Damn. in every different level so that's cool shout out to the gerards uh that's right something yep. the water there for sure oh and shout out to tim oh yeah native screen printing yep these are screen printed in florida shipped to colorado yep. so yeah we tried shout to out. get them out here uh it didn't work out this year but yep. hopefully it was such a big hit that next year he's gonna come and yeah. uh you know print live that, that would be the goal harry's holding it down too with native so yep. yeah i yeah, appreciate that good shit dudes yep Absolutely. So yeah, along with this Mountain Dew stuff, all this like you know merch and fun stuff, we also hooked up with Theragun. Shout out to Chris. Uh, yeah, Chris, thank you. Yeah, laced us up. Thank you. Um, and you know sometimes when you you know you're making logos, you get that forearm pump similar to <laughs> motocross. Yeah. Um, you know, hundred logos is tough. So you know we had to you know big shout out to Theragun. Thank you. Uh, you know we're we're keeping the the uh, forearms uh, fresh. They're and they're good. So. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. We're gonna do some some fun stuff with that. Oh so yeah, there'll, there'll be more to come oh, with yeah. Theragun. Just so. wait till Edward gets a hold of it. I'm sure yeah. he's gonna be doing some crazy shit with it. So yeah, it'll be um, a good time. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, right on, Chris. Thanks. Um, and then on top of that, so usually around the holidays, uh, whether it's clients or, or whatever, you know, we kind of send out some holiday packages. We receive some. Yep. So Theragun, amazing package. Yeah. Um, we also got some stuff from Hot Wheels. Yeah, in the past we've gotten a couple different packages from them, and they always seem to get better every year. And this year, I mean, they came out with the, I mean, look at these bags. I mean, these bags are nice. It's yeah, fully custom. fully custom. I mean, this yeah. is cutting, so they went in. Um, all you you know shoulder bag kids out there are going to be hyped on this thing. <laughs> uh, good looking piece. Definitely, you ain't going to catch Dan. You know, <laughs> probably not. It across no, the chest, it's probably not going to be. It's all good. Be uh, used for me on my chest. Uh, but are you going to fanny pack style or just not even? Yeah, yes. yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm more of a backpack guy. If I'm going to wear something, it's going right. to be a backpack. Cool. But yeah, but my kids were super hyped there, on that thing. And, there you go. And they're yeah, it's, it's getting across used the chest. That's for, that's what the kids are doing. Now. Yeah, yeah, it's getting used. For all sure. right, hell they yeah. sent some hats, some tees sticker sheets um just some fun cool shit yeah most of these sticker sheets have all of our uh graphics on here and stuff that's kind of older too so it's like four or five years old Dude, this one Th- that might be 20 years old so i was telling 15. candace about this yeah i'm like this is the one of the very first things we ever did for hot wheels yeah and it's definitely 15 years old. Super old. Yeah. Yep. And it's random. I mean, it's a hot dog. It's uh, a hot dog in the shape of the Hot Wheels logo. Great piece. Why? Who knows? Maybe they're having a cookout, but it's a fun piece, and that's really yeah. all that matters. Super interesting that it ended up on this sheet. Yeah, yeah some of the even the other logos on there, it's like, this yeah. stuff is so old, but yep. a little throwback. It, it holds up. Yeah. It's timeless. Yeah, it's cool to see. Yeah. 
so yeah thank you mattel thank you hot wheels theragun do tour again for having us yeah do tour um, pepsi co theragun yep. uh and liquid death and liquid death yeah absolutely hell yeah yep. yeah stoked so cool all right let's uh let's, let's get, get all it. this out of here and yeah let's dive into the the new project perfect cool all right, so today we're gonna touch on uh, Jurassic Park. It's a classic. Jurassic World, um, whichever one you wanna pick. Yep. But we've touched all of it basically over the last, I don't know, it's probably been, I guess five, six years. And a couple of the spinoff versions. For sure, yep, yeah. Yeah, so they, which is Universal Pictures, is the basically the client yep. You know that hired us. We've done other projects for universal for different properties but jurassic um, we've done four different style guides so it's cool i mean i remember back in 1993 when the first jurassic park came out um, and it was a big deal it was kind of like this thing of like you had star wars and kind of computer you know generated images and shit like that in these movies and they're always just a bit off you know, something was like, eh, like kind of looks good, but not really. Like the ad at walking in Star Wars. Yeah. You're like, that's pretty good, but, yeah, you yeah. know, I see how you did that. Totally, yeah. Where I remember when Jurassic came out, I mean, it was in 93. I was almost getting out of high school, and it was like, holy shit, this looks good. Totally. Like, those look real. Yeah, yeah. and then you saying that makes me think of a new, uh, you know, documentary that came out recently, The Movies That Made Us, and they uh, they just really dive into that, and they talk about, you know, the one dude wasn't even supposed to show uh, Universal and he like you know stayed up all night worked on it you know yeah. wasn't supposed to showed it to them they ended up loving it and uh, who's the guy that did the the frame by frame stop motion animation he almost kind of didn't get fired but they kind of were like all right we don't need you as much anymore yeah. he started helping the CGI team and yeah. it's pretty crazy just to see how you know all that happened I was younger back yeah. then so you know, the, it's right. a, a classic movie, but it didn't hit me like that, you know, where if yeah. you're the right age, you're like, oh, shit, like this is r super real. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, no, it was cool. And it all kind of relinks back to Star Wars, basically, because it was industrial light and magic yep. that did all this, you know, the company that was created basically to make the Star Wars, you know, CG and all the and all that stuff. So yeah. it's cool. Yeah. So, yeah. So let's jump into it. So we, over the past five years, have done four different style guides for them. Um, the two most recent for uh, Netflix TV show. Yeah, Camp uh, Cretaceous. Yep. Yeah, so uh, animated TV show. Yeah. Has three seasons now, I think, out on Netflix. So, so super cool. Yes, yeah, uh, style guides are something that we kind of do a lot of, you know. Mm -hmm. It's some stuff that we may just show some images on Instagram or on our portfolio, but never really say, hey, this is part of a bigger guide, you know? Yeah. And in these guides, there's so much stuff in there. They're, you know, full compositions, yeah. you know, badges, patterns, type, you know, pretty much everything you could think of a, a di design asset being, uh, we'll do for the for the client. For the, yeah, for the guide. And everybody works on it. Yeah. It's like a whole group effort, you know? We got the illustrators on it. We got Jordan doing patterns, you know, you're doing basically all the compositions. We got Davey helping out with some badges. It's like a group effort. It's definitely fun, you know, to get from Brandon or Damaso, like here are four big dope dinosaurs. And yeah. now figure everything else out, make a full on <coughs> composition t-shirt or poster. Um, Absolutely. And, and it's, a, it's a good starting off point because if I had to draw those dinos, you know, we all know it wouldn't be happening. So, <laughs> right. Um, it, it's sure. fun, you know, and if anything, I get a good illustration from Brandon and it, it puts pressure on me. I'm like, I have to really deliver a composition to, or else he's going to be bummed. Like, he's like, oh, I could have done that myself. You know, yeah. that's garbage. So, yeah, it's a, it's fun. Yeah. So let's, let's dive into this first one. Yeah. So this is for the Netflix show. Um, you're looking at the table of contents. So this is basically a list. This guide was 32 pages. Um, but on those pages are multiple, you know, designs Assets. and things like that. Yeah. yeah. So we'll do color palettes, fonts, editorial, illustration badges, icons. I mean, everything. So. Totally. It's cool because, uh, shoot, years ago, a decade ago, I used to work at a spot that we would use these style guides. So now the That's fact right. that I'm on the other end creating them, it, it helps me, you know, see how they're going to be used. What are they going to be doing with them? Yep. Um, how am I going to translate this composition onto a sleeping bag or a toothbrush or, yep. or whatever? So what is that file going to look like yep. that somebody at say the printer or, or shop gets your file, yep. you know, that you designed, you know, they're going to open that up. What is that going to look like? Yep. How are they going to be able to re remove the background? Totally. Cause you designed it on black and they put it on white, yep. like all of that. Yeah. So yeah, it's just fun to have gone full circle and, and truly yep. see how, how these elements are used. So yeah, it's cool. 
Um, even uh, yeah, we got the Pantones here. This is something crucial. Uh, yeah, we, we gotta always provide that. You color know what palette. I mean? Yep. Basically, you know, what is the color palette for this guide? You know, is it is it dark? Is it pastels? You know, what what's the whole vibe? So. And this is a huge piece that makes the style guide look cohesive. When you have <coughs> ten different people touching it, it's you know, colors is huge. You know, absolutely. There can be a little bit different line weight, and that's okay as long as all the colors are similar. It's gonna feel, you know, like a unified collection. Yeah like these badges that were or icons that we're looking at here yeah um the color alone i mean i see one that looks a little out of place because it doesn't have that hard you know yellow and red look to it yep um, yeah it's the colors in the end that bring it all together fun pieces here though very fun this one maybe shoot all of them but this one in particular was tricky and, and challenging because there was so much texture uh it, they, you know they want it to be it's, it's Jurassic park you know they want it gritty aggressive um, but they also want it all vector in the end. So it's like, yeah. it's a battle. Uh, I don't personally want to have a bunch of tiffs and bitmaps in there just because it makes the file nasty. And I know all the comments are like, dude, it's all good. Just use tiffs, but it, that's not ideal. So no. it's definitely challenging to get those vector textures just right where they don't look like they're these weird live trace, you know, shards of stuff. So yeah, for me personally, that's always the big challenge and shit, my computer is just spinning it just sounds like it's gonna take off you know it's like making these well, crazy noises yeah and you know like i tell clients all the time you know the illustration work is done not, most most of it's done in photoshop totally you know it's you're not going to get a dinosaur that was started from scratch in illustrator totally you know? i mean this stuff is done in photoshop so if you want a vector at some point we need to convert it yeah yeah and that's know? that's a time taker in itself absolutely you know I mean? we could do it but yeah. man it's a it's a bit of a busy work you know for sure um so moving on here background so damaso i think all four guides um amazing illustrations of just backgrounds and different scenes totally from the movies from the tv shows i mean that little green thing hanging from the branch hanging down i mean th this stuff's crazy i mean yeah. this is the stuff i like to get and uh maybe th threshold it or do something for, for these you know compositions but for sure. the fact that he paints all these backgrounds are freaking gnarly right yeah i mean that tram look at the freaking shines in that tram that yeah I the mean, windows oh. the, the depth on the pterodactyls from you know the black ones up front you know the i don't know the ones with less value in the background yeah, yeah it's that, great it's a dynamic piece yeah and then kind of you know scrolling through these i i grabbed just a bunch of uh just kind of what I, what i thought and just threw it in here there's a lot more than this than what we're showing but um Every kind of composition, background, whatever it is, there had to be a story that oh, yeah. tied into the actual TV show or yep. the movie. So it, it's not just random shit that you can do. Um, there has to be a reason for it. Yeah, like uh, we're looking at page 18. This is a clip where this, you know, uh, Velociraptor, I'm not yeah, sure, is yep, Toro. Uh, he's uh, escaping, you know. So And he runs through this specific hallway, yep. so we need to draw it just right. Some of the challenges also with that are the the ip the show's not out yet so it's like yeah. we have to get access to these things from the client yep. even the way they send them to us it's pretty gnarly to see i mean For they're sure. watermarked with his name on it yeah so it's like it's just crazy you know yeah. something some shit you don't think about yeah it's cool in it's case cool. you know it ain't gonna happen but tmz ever gets that thing it's gonna say <laughs> dan jansen all over the screen right. so <laughs> that'd be heavy yeah yeah they definitely put a lot of trust you know which is which is great and we love that but uh but yeah, we you know we have to watch these before they come out to actually know what's happening. Totally. I mean, yeah. some of the guides we've done in the past, you know, we we haven't done that. Yeah. But these ones are so specific with storytelling that yeah. obviously there's no way we could do it otherwise. So yeah. So looking at this one, run with the Raptors. We had a conversation yesterday because we're wor working on a style guide for yeah. a new client. Yeah. Um, and you're like, man, we got to charge extra if there's CG characters inside of a composition in Illustrator. Yeah. I mean. Uh, it's definitely, it's a battle, you know yeah. what I mean? Just like we were talking about those textures being in <laughs> Illustrator, well, now we have these raster images that are in Illustrator. I mean, it's tough because non-vector <laughs> images in a vector program, it's just like, it's technically just not correct. But obviously they want their stuff in vector because it's easier to mess with down the road. Yeah. But man, it, I mean, it takes me more time. You know, if I need to get however many done a day, it's like less just because of the, I'm looking at the beach ball all day. <laughs> um, yeah. And yeah, in yeah, my it's opinion, it's, it's a heavier lift, you know, we gotta, we gotta, yeah, hit them on that. For sure. Yeah. 
So it's cool though. We get these assets, you know, whether it's the dinosaurs or the these were CG characters. Yeah, something like this is like we get the tagline "Must keep moving." Yeah. Uh, there's like ten different poses, yeah. and it, they're just like you know, go to town, make something, create something. Yeah. yeah, create something that looks good that you know somebody's gonna want on a tee or a skateboard or whatever. Yeah, whoever the the licensee is that bought it, they have at least ten designs to start with. Yeah. Then after that, they can pick apart our pieces and make. 10 more but at least they have 10 to start with out of the gate that are uh, already approved by by you know the license for sure yeah yeah so moving on so patterns um you know we build out most of the guide get it probably about 80 percent there hand off a bunch of assets to jordan and we need patterns yep and then uh just touching back on that cgi piece you know if you're in the swatch maker and illustrator you can't put any uh, raster images into that program so you're not making repeatable patterns in that window yep. um, so that's another reason why we need vector uh, so as you can already tell looking at all of our patterns that they're all vector based pieces beca yep. just because of that reason we could figure it out you know if I wanted to get out my calculator and do it the old school way but yeah. you know what ain't nobody got time for that is that what they say Cause, <laughs> yeah. yeah damn yeah, and for the most part, you know, all these clients want a tileable pattern. Totally. So. Which, you know, yeah. it, you could, it's a swatch essentially when you're done, so it's nice. Say you yeah. have a, a backpack, you know, that you're trying to mock up. You yeah. can just eye, dr eye drop it, boom, and it fills it. Yep. It's pretty easy. Yeah. It's nice. No, it is. Yeah, and then you can control the size of that pattern inside that shape, which... But sometimes making that pattern is a freaking battle. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah. like you're... And it's like almost like a Rubik's Cube, yeah. you know? It's like, how do I get this to layer right so it doesn't... I don't know. Yeah. So, so shout out to Jordan for yeah, uh, kicking Jordan ass. Holding yeah. down on those patterns. Yep. Um, we have an episode on here that we dove into patterns. So check it out. Yep. Yeah. Uh, moving on. So season two, let's kind of roll through some of these more icons. Again, Dustin's point. That grunge. Man, the, that green ties it all together. Oh, yeah. The texture on top. You know, that's what brings the whole the whole kit and this whole badge page. Yeah, there's probably three different little sprays that we use, so they're all the same spray just to, yep. you know, keep that cohesiveness. Yeah, more icons. Uh, we got plants. Davy drew a bunch of plants these for plants this. These plants are money. Yeah. Actually, these plants and those rocks at the bottom, I picked those rocks apart and used those like crazy. Yeah. This is the stuff that, yeah, like that you get a shit ton of use out of because you can hide things you know, layered on top. And Davey will actually draw the rocks complete and then put a new rock in front of it yep. as opposed to it not being there. So yeah. he he's cognizant of, hey, this is going to get picked apart. Yeah. I need to finish the illustration behind whatever's there. Yep. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah these, you know that going into it. These plants are super helpful. Yeah. More badges. This is good, dude. Those yeah, are nice. Those are fun. Yeah. So this page. So we do every guide we kind of kick it off with illustrating all the dinosaurs yep. um, in different poses, kind of whatever, whatever we need. And we need some running, you know, whatever that's going to be. So Brandon and Maso handle that. Well, they'll do these pretty tight sketches, oh, yeah. you know. Well, we think it's perfect. Yeah. And until you get it to the person who's like the character designer. At, at Jurassic yeah. Universal. And he's like, man, you know, that knee, oh, the dude, that kneecap knee is, is just a little too big. And you're like, well, shit, you know, I've never seen a T-Rex. How would I have known that? You totally, know what I mean? Yeah. So they really get in there. And as you can see on this page, the anatomy, they pick it apart like yeah. crazy. They know the exact anatomy of what that dinosaur and know, it's not even like. not even just Jurassic, but pretty much any style guide we do, we're drawing yeah. other people's IP. So it's yeah. we do this, you know. For all the all yeah. the assets, we did so. a similar thing for uh, Kung Fu Panda. Oh yeah, and it was like, oh, his eyes. Look at all these, you know, Pokemon minions. Yeah. I mean, there's so yep. many that they're just like, man, if you just change that, you know, thing just a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, some of these pieces where they go in their illustrator and draws over it is yep. uh, pretty gnarly to see. I mean, yeah. this is like, this is like a drawing class almost. Totally. You know, it's like, man, yeah. my teacher gave me notes. It's like I you got, got two good artists going back and forth, yeah. you know, like. I got a B plus. I got to work on it a little more. <laughs> yeah. So you can see here that basically the sketch changes and then you got, you know, basically the colored version, more changes on top of that. And then the final art. So which is a good piece. I mean, just the shadowing in that like thigh area yeah. to show the face of that Raptor. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And this is a direct scene from the show. From the show. Yeah. yeah from the movie. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, it's cool. 
Damaso did these. Um, this was one of the first pieces he did to kick off. They, we were kind of trying to find the tone yeah, of the and, guide, and we yeah. did like four pieces. This is one of them. And almost the illustration style. Yeah. You know, because this is a little different. Totally different. Like, and it, yeah, you, I could already envision if they wanted this, boom, now I know what everything else, I know what the texture looks like. Yep. I know what the colors feel like. Yeah. It definitely helps to have them approve one piece, no matter sure. what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then from there you go to the next one, you know, I mean, that's classic Same straight style. Is that the cover of the original movie? Just that straight yeah, on T-Rex? Yeah. I mean, that thing is dynamic. Yeah. You know, this is a TV show. There was a bunch of character illustrations of these kids living so, on the island yeah so that was one that was interesting you know sometimes we'll get little clips here and there where they actually sent us the full eight episodes or ten episodes i forget yep. now um and we were all tasked to sit down and watch you know cover to cover so i'm just like working from home one day you know my partner walks in the room and like what the heck are you doing you working today i'm like yeah i'm, I'm you know i gotta I'm watching, watch this yeah <laughs> and you know it's it's a kind of like a kid's show but yeah it's funny because seeing this illustration of the the three girls running i'm like oh yeah i already know exactly what's happening yeah. um yeah so that's yeah. a different part of the job that you kind of don't really think about absolutely you got to dig in you got to know you and know? market research yeah. I mean, that, this is yeah. the, my favorite uh, you don't need to do market research if you're the market yeah well clearly uh i'm not the market <laughs> right. um, so i had yep. to do some digging for sure yeah so moving on compositions you're the guy we usually you know these guys will do illustrations um, some background some badges handed off to dustin and he does basically most of the layout for this stuff yeah, it's um, fun problem solving. You know, you just—it's all about hierarchy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where, where the character is gonna sit, where the type gonna sit, um, yeah. and how do I now make it dynamic? You know, do I do I rotate that character forty-five degrees so it's just different? You don't want it to make it look like I just copy and pasted it. You know, totally. it's like how yeah. do you change it to make it better? Yeah. This was a tough one where it, you know this pose of the dino still, and they wanted some motion of that tail swinging in. Extreme danger. Um, you know that's challenging sometimes you know still pose but give emotion so you're yeah. like all right well, you know how are we gonna do this yeah yeah so you get the burst in there and yeah yeah it's cool and then uh these ones are fun damaso did some like pencil sketch looking compositions on this lined paper which is cool i love these yeah that's that's great there's yeah and then yeah some good storytelling there you know yeah, that's storytelling sure. all day yeah it, it i always defer back to doing comic boxes because that's yeah. what it's hard to, how do you do storytelling and you know nothing that's video it's like yeah. you got to show these different frames in one image you know yeah tell, tell a story or or explain the scene that you're looking at yeah, right here yep but yep. we need to know four different things that happen. Yeah, by 11. Yeah. So I'll definitely always, you know, doing some comic boxes is kind of the cheat code, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. And it's th you don't want them to just be boring rectangles, so you stylize them a bit, you know. Yeah. Damaso crushed it on this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we did one. This one was uh, kind of based on destruction. So super fun um, to actually go in and texturize and deal with the Jurassic World logo. So yep. this is now back to movie, to the movies. Um, these were fun. You got the fully textured, rendered out logos, and then Damaso drew some backgrounds again. Uh, on these, we did posters for these, which Brandon and Damaso each did two. So sketches for those. So sick. And then the compositions that Dustin threw down. This is one of my favorites. This versus. This is like the island. Yeah, this is kind of yeah. like that same comic box idea. Yep. But how do you not do comic boxes? So yeah. you know, mostly the the younger guides. You know, for for I don't know, kids yep. and boys. Yeah. The hex always works. Yeah. I go to the hex <laughs> so much. <laughs> for sure. And then if you're sick yep. of the hex, rotate that thing. Or what is that? Ninety yeah. degrees, and it looks like different. So. Yeah. 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 This one's great. Oh, and then so this is fun. Yeah, so every sometimes there's like a guide inside of a guide. So inside of this guide was the Mr. DNA guide. So in the movie, there's Mr. DNA, how they explain how the dinosaurs are made. Yep. You know, and it's the little DNA and strand. Teaching and, the kids. Yep. Yeah. So we were able to to do this guide inside. You know, the bigger guide, which was super cool. And the cool part when you're watching the movie when you see that CG of the, you know, Mr. DNA, he looks yep. totally different than everything else. Yeah. So within this guide, everything's dark and grungy and, you know, you know, dinosaurs. And then you get to this thing and it's crisp, yeah. clean, yeah. poppy. Yeah. It's cool. It's totally fun. The juxtaposition. Yeah. I mean, you can see how we got the, 
Jurassic World logo. It's yeah. kind of fun, super bright colors. Davey came in, did Killed. the basically developed this mascot character based on the Mr. DNA dude. Yeah, that's that fun. guy's rad. And you you know exactly you know who yep. it is. I haven't seen the movie in like decades, but yep. you're like, yep, that's him. For no sure. questions asked. Yeah. The type that he did with it. <laughs> yeah. So fun. So good. Yeah, you got the Damn, egg I, and the whole deal. Even the type, like the type has that like NASA vibe to it. Yeah. Totally perfect, you know, scientific. Yeah, I love it. And then with that guide, we moved on to uh, to the patterns. You know, Jordan crushed it again with the uh, DNA patterns. Yeah, that one's good. Yeah. So last one, Dino Dino Battle. So this too was um, similar, basically based on fights and different fight scenes. Um, this one was a little bit older, if I remember right. You know, it was kind of like those were the boys. Up, yeah. You know, you know, eight to twelve, eight to thirteen. This is kind of like thirteen to fifteen. Yep. Um, and even in the, in the compositions, they should they should show that. You know, yeah. a little more aggressive. Yeah. Colors are a little bit older. Yeah. So you see these here that Dustin did with the CG characters. This is rips. one. This is one. You know, there's two poses. Uh, we're on. I don't know, whatever page we're on. Um, yep. And these two dinosaurs, they're like, hey, this one and this one need to battle. But they're both facing the same direction. Yeah. So I was definitely having a struggle. Like, how? how I This ain't going to work. How are they gonna, They're both looking <laughs> this way. They're, totally. If you're fighting, you're doing this. So yeah. um, yep. we, we figured it out. But those are sometimes some of the challenges where the assets aren't even there to do what they're asking for. Yeah. And you kind of just, hey, figure it out, you know. Yeah. And you can't flip it horizontal. No. Don't ever flip it. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the scratch was on this side. It's supposed <laughs> yeah. to be on this side, and you just blew it. Don't ever flip an image. No. So, yeah, this this one was cool. Um, in this one, the heads, Davey did these illustrations of each dino's head, but it's super bold. And the straight on. I love yeah, straight on animal heads. Super dynamic. So dope. Page 58. Like, yeah. I love those. So inside this guide, similar to the last one, there's a whole thing called Clever Girl style guide inside here. And so we basically picked out six of the uh, the girls, the women from the from the different movies, and built out mini style guides. So basically six pages per per uh, actor. That's cool. So Claire basically developed a, a color palette for Claire, and then went into illustrating Dino Claire. Uh, the colors, full, full the colors color. again yeah. look good. Yep. Dude. Silhouette, so and then badges. Those are good. So, yeah, these are cool. And then patterns and basically what we call borders. So it was cool. Did that for all the all the girls and kind of wrapped it up with that. So Yeah, it's a nice little throwback. I haven't seen these badges in a minute. I know, right? There's some good shapes in here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's fun. So, so yeah, that was kind of four of the style guides we've done for Jurassic over yeah. the years. Yeah, fun stuff. Yeah. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's always good doing a, a style guide because the team comes together. You know, certain projects we're kind of doing our own thing. Yep. Certain ones we come together, and this is always fun. And it, to me, it always makes the best work to have yeah, everybody does. throw in. You yep. know, yeah. and you kind of gotta be held accountable for like, you know, hey, pulling your weight. Yeah, yeah. you know, you it, you got to do that anyways, but yeah. you really feel it on these group projects. So for sure, you don't want to be the, you know, it's like in uh, high school, you don't want to be the guy on the group project that just does nothing. You know, <laughs> right. and, yeah. yeah just lagging so yeah yeah dude fun stuff yeah it's cool so so yeah so that is jurassic park jurassic world so cool yeah check them out yep. go on netflix uh camp cretaceous check yeah. that out yeah watch uh, that what's the other one the movies that made us uh, yeah they talk about the first jurassic movie definitely yep. need to watch that yeah, um, very cool so yeah yeah right on shit cool so we have a new product in the shop oh shit yeah what do we yeah, got so we got Usually I see a box of hats or something, but I didn't see no boxes for this yeah, one. Yeah, no. So we got the new uh, oh. Chop Up newspaper. Damn. So this is episode 6 through 10. So wait, this is the podcast in print form. Pro podcast in print form, yep. Yeah, so basically we go through, you know, so this it starts with episode 6. Well, I want to say you lost your mind. You, <laughs> usually it's the reverse. You are making a printed piece of our YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I don't we know if that's ever been done. Uh, maybe not. Yeah. Damn. All I mean, right. I always talk about I'm a print guy. Yeah. So, I mean, my thing is if you watch the show and you like what you saw or the project or the client, uh, to me, it's like, oh, I want a printed version of that. I want to go. I actually want to look at those logos, you know, more than just on screen. Yeah, so you want to follow along. You know? Yeah. So basically this does that. So and this shit's massive. Yeah, it's big. It's I mean, news this is big. Newspaper, newsprint. So I mean, I'm scrolling through it. This thing's pretty fun. I mean, yeah, 
there's like there's stuff in here you'll never see anywhere else i mean we have these little random ads that we do for uh for some of our products search party koozie you know adventure bottle this is all shit that we'll never do again or show you know it's just for the for the newspaper yeah, so. fun little zine style little ads yeah just trying to make it fun you know so yeah i mean shit on the back i'm looking at this thing like you got a word search does this thing actually work is this real oh no, that's real yeah you sat there and made all this yep yeah yeah damn yep that's so why, that's why dan's so busy yeah <laughs> no nah, richard richard and i collabed on the very first oh, one shit, i just found and one then richard that. has uh you seen it on there yeah that's pretty good yeah <laughs> yeah Richard's taking this over kind of as his project, so he laid this whole thing out, and yeah. he's starting on the, the third one. So That's fun, dude. Yeah. Collect them all if you want. Yeah, yeah, something different. Yeah. Or if you just like like one episode we did and you want to grab that one, cool. I mean, this is good. I mean, I would tear out a page and, uh, I don't know, hang that shit on my wall, you yeah. know? Yeah. Oh, also, there's barcodes for each episode, so you can scan it. It'll launch that episode, and you can watch it. So, Dude, yeah. shout out to QR codes. Yep. Yeah, so... Cool. Hell yeah, um, yeah. So that's new. It's in the shop. Check it out. Yeah, go snag that. Yeah. All right. Hell yeah. I think that's yeah. it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, yep. the bell. Yeah, hit whatever. Yeah. yeah. Follow us. We appreciate it. Or just watch us next weekend. Yeah, exactly. All right. Cool. Thank you. See you next time.